Hi. Um, we're gonna do the curse challenge. Hold on, we're in like... Oh, hang on, so we have a lot of HP. We got maps. We've got compass. I'm like in the dark right now, which is probably, um... Part of, oh, I see. The doors are cursed, huh? Um, because I haven't made it this far into challenges on Isaac ever. I should have opened that. Okay, we need faster reaction times. Then I'm discovering now. Um, this is this is interesting though. So so I'm first of all I'll say this much. I just said I need faster reaction times. It's probably not gonna happen because I'm unbelievably like tired. Um, and this isn't like. This isn't the usual, oh, I'm so tired, I haven't been sleeping right. This is like, I was, uh, I went to, uh, I went to a different city yesterday for the day, uh, for work. And came back at an ungodly hour in the night. Because, uh, I went out drinking with my co-workers. And then, uh, they kept convincing me to stay out. And I kept being like, yeah, okay, I'll stay out. And then I stayed out later and later and later, eventually got a train home. And then by the time I got to my hometown, uh, my phone had no battery for me to, like, call a cab or anything. And buses weren't running very, very often at all. So I ended up having to walk all the way home, and it took me even longer to get home. So I didn't actually get into bed, let alone get asleep get to sleep, but I didn't get into bed until, like, 2 a.m., which, like, you know, as previously discussed, for me at this point is, is kind of fucked up. Let's check this secret room. Oh, I can't. I don't have any bombs. Okay, bye. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's, I'm, I'm wrecked right now, which is, you know, oh, I don't get any mapping on this floor. That's kind of rude. Um, you know, I was this close to getting back on track with the sleep schedule, and then I had a party that I went to, then I, I went to work, and it it was an incredibly long journey each way, so I woke up really early, went to bed really late. It's been it's been chaos, dude. Ah, <sighs> but I'm I'm glad to be back now. On also, as a result of this, I was supposed to come home and record Isaac last night. But obviously, I didn't get home until incredibly late, so that didn't happen. So I'm here on day of. Man, my throat is so congested. I can't wait for this to go away. <laughs> I'm, I can like, I'm trying to like swallow between saying things, and it's just not happening. I can't do it. I should have just taken the full heart. Oh well. Oh. Um, one, two, yeah, no, I think we just keep going. Ooh. Um, so yeah, anyway, besides that, I'm doing all right. So, so this is like a, this is a, oh, I can't believe I just did that. Um, this is a day of recording. And, uh, so that means I'm going to have to do a double bill today. I'm not doing a double bill right now. I'm recording this one. Uh, at lunchtime, in lieu of eating lunch, because uh, that's how that's how determined I am to keep to the the Isaac upload schedule. I like I, I the, the Isaac upload schedule in my brain, and it's probably not not healthy, but um, I don't know. I'm not like ruining myself over it. I'm just like inconveniencing myself, but uh, it takes precedence over just about everything. I'm very determined to keep the daily uploads coming. So, you know, in spite of the fact that, like... Oh, wait, I maybe should have gone for an item room. <laughs> I think I'm shooting myself in the foot quite a bit here. Um, we can go this way. Okay, well, like, we seem... The thing is, we seem, like, strong enough. We have a lot of HP, which is great. I think we'll be okay. Um... But yeah, I, I, so I'm recording this at lunchtime, and then this evening I'll do another one. So they won't be so tight together that, like, I don't have any time to figure out what I'm going to talk about in the next episode. 
But like they are gonna be on the same day, so fair warning. So like, listen, what have I been doing? I went, I went to my, I went to my actual hometown, the city from which I originally hail, to go to work, because I, I usually work from home, and uh, I'm therefore fortunate enough to just kind of chill in my room all day every day, like a real troglodyte, and. Uh, and so I had to make the rare trip to the big city. Ooh. Um, for... Yeah, we're gonna go do the boss so we can try and bag at least unlock devil. Okay. We're too slow, I guess. We just got absolutely wrecked. Um, I went back to my hometown for work. And I went by, I have, I have two choices, primarily, um, which are the, the coach and the train. The, oh my god. Um, the coach is the option if you are looking to save a lot of money, but it's like a bit longer. And the train is the option if you are looking to save time, but it doesn't actually save that much time, it is just extortionately expensive. Um... So I, obviously, took the train, um, because I really didn't want to sit on a coach for that amount of time. And that's usually what I do. When I'm going for work anyway, that's usually what I'm doing. Um, if I am going for, like, my just my own business, just, you know, for kicks, um, I honestly might sometimes get the coach. Oh. Um... Just, like, because it, you know, at some point you got to save money, and, and this is, like, a really easy way to save money. Oh my god, I'm going to lose. Um, but, uh, the, the train is, like, at the very least, like, comfortable enough that the journey isn't complete hell. But, like, man, sitting on a coach for that long absolutely sucks, man. Like, I, the first problem is that I'm tall enough that every time I get onto the coach, without fail, I bash my head. And, like, you'd think, you know, after bashing your head enough times, you'd be like, oh, I'll check and make sure that I don't, like, walk into the ceiling. I don't, generally. I just kind of, like, let it happen. Um, I will... I will just kind of get, just step on board, climb up the steps into the into the main cabin, and then poof, right in front of everyone, everyone starts yucking it up. They're like, "Haha, this guy, he's so funny," and I'm like, "Oh, finally, the validation I've been craving." <laughs> uh, and then I just start bashing my head into the ceiling over and over, and everyone's like, "Ha ha 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 ha!" They start clapping their hands and cheering. Um, and then, uh, and then I take my seat and everyone gets disappointed, and then they start, like, passing letters down to the front of the, of the coach to my seat, and they hand it to me, and it says, like, bash your head again, loser. Man, my, I really miss breathing. I, I can't, like, I can't breathe. It's messed up. I, like, I'm not even, I've, I swear to you, I'm not eating the wraps anymore. I haven't ordered KFC in days. I no longer know what the issue is. I think I'm just broken. Oh my god, this is torture. I hate the bonies, man. Like, they're a really good enemy, and I, I hate them for it. This is a disappointment. I guess we can try and roll for some blue hots. So anyway, how's your day going? I, um... I, like... I had some really good ideas for the for the monologue today but I had them at like 1 a.m. while I was walking home and I was like a bit drunk so I mean first of all they've left my head second of all I sincerely doubt they were actually that good um full mapping for this floor huh um we probably actually don't want that destroy all rocks in the room like, it's nice that we're getting them now, but... Not nice enough. 
Okay, yeah. No, that's... Oh my god. Hold on. So we want this and we want this. Um... Yeah, okay. I've cost myself more HP in the long run. Man, my brain is just not with it today. Honestly, if you want to take to the comments and flame me, understandable. I'm all over the place right now. This is just a testament to how sleepy I am. You see me miss the trap door though? I'm ready for bed, man. I gotta go to sleep. Um, we can go down. Hold it. Easy, easy, easy. Um, I tried to, like, getting back to the trains. So I, so I took the train. On the way in um, to work, it was pretty chill, if I remember right. Because I, um, normally, I go, like, kind of extremely ridiculously early. And so I have to wake up at, like, the most ungodly hour ever just to get the train. But, um... I decided yesterday that instead of doing that, I would just get, like, a, a relatively reasonable train. Um, so I ended up getting the train at, like, 8, 8 a.m. rather than, like, 6 a.m. Um, this is, like, solid. Um, 8 a.m. rather than, like, 6 a.m. And so as a result, I, you know didn't have to get the train. I didn't have to wake up at like, you know, three in the morning or four in the morning just to get the train into work. I got up at like 6 a.m., which is like at least somewhat manageable. I used to wake up at seven for work, so it's like not not in the most unfathomable realm of, of you know, wake up times. Um, it was still pretty rough though, but like a lot more doable than I otherwise, than it otherwise would have been. I will say, thank God it's like summertime, you know, summertime is approaching, springtime is approaching, I should say. Because, um, I woke up at 6am, and the sun was like starting to rise rather than it being dark out. Had it been dark out, I think I might have like, you know, I think I might have been pretty upset. But I, um, at least as I've talked about before, I'm pretty tied to like the weather conditions, emotionally speaking. So, I, I, you know, I got up and it was pretty dark out. Oh, oh, no, it wasn't pretty dark out. It was like not, the sun wasn't up yet is what I meant to say. And I was like, oh, man, I don't want to do this. How bleak. And then I went into my bedroom to, to like, I woke up, went to the living room, saw the, where the sun was at. Then went to my bedroom to go and um, get ready. And by the time I came back to the living room, uh, the sun was up and it was like really nice and sunny. And so I was like, all right, sweet. Put like put me in, coach. I'm ready for it. Like sunshine is something I can handle. Let's go. So I, you know, I got up, I I I got on the train, I went to work. By the time I was at work, the sun had kind of subsided. So I was then a bit more like Oh. Okay. Um now, I know my acting is pretty, like, first class, so when I did that, you were like, Oh, wait, why is he upset about that in-game? What, he's upset that, like, um... He's upset that he got, like, a lame card or something? No, 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 I was acting as me... In the past... Being disappointed about... The item that I, uh, uh not the item I received, about the, um... The sun not being there anymore, and me being in, in a different city for work. And not being able to just like sit at home and pretend that the weather isn't bad at all. I got asked about this. That, that during bad weather, I tend to like close my curtains and like hide in the dark. And I was asked if that's just, if that's not just exacerbating the issue of the weather being bad. By like, you know, making it all dark and gloomy. But like not really, because like when the, cur when the curtains are shut, I can pretend that the weather's good. And then I'm just like... You know, it's it's early or late or something. But, like, you know, if the curtains are open, I can see that it's bleak and then I feel bleak. I'm getting absolutely rinsed here, by the way. I don't think we have to go the whole way, which is pretty good. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of clinging on to that as my hope for this this run. Not, um, not taking forever to finish. Oh. 
Honestly, like, I favor that. Give me more short challenge runs, and I'll be happy. Although I will say, even if this is a short challenge run, I probably won't do a double bill, rec uh, like a double run this episode, just because I'm incredibly sleepy. <laughs> and don't... Like, the thing is, I know that there's stuff for me to talk about. That's the worst part about this one. I've been doing things, and I could monologue. But, like, I'm so tired, I just, I can't. You know? So, you know, we're in the burner episode zone right now. I need those. Oh! Um, let's go. We're gonna have to go that way anyway. So, I think we'll go down here. I don't think we've actually, like, we haven't saved any journey time doing this. But, I, it's just I decided to not do the big room. Um, we go down again. Uh-oh. Hold it. Oh, come on. Why do these hearts just never die, man? Yeah, we can do this instead. There we go. Those enemies are quite possibly the worst in the entire game. Wait, I didn't take any damage for that. Excuse me? Um, We can go on together in Suspicious Minds. Is it Suspicious Minds? Um, okay. I, listen, I'm, I'm, my, my brain is shut off. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get back into the mix with this last little thing that I was gonna say about the trains. So I, so I, I was gonna say it and then I got sidetracked talking about getting on the train. I got on fairly early on in the, yeah, so my morning trip, I got on fairly early, but not as early as I usually do. And then in the evening, I was a little bit tipsy, and, um, and, uh, I was very desperate to get home. So I, I ended up getting on a train at, like, I don't know, I want to say it was like an 11, 12 p.m. train. I can't remember which end of that it was closer to. This is all right. Um, it was one end of that spectrum, though. You're welcome. Um, ooh. 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 This is not good at all. <laughs> is this two as well? This is Necropolis one. I'm pushing it. We'll be fine. This is not fine. This is very bad. I can beat this guy without taking damage, we just have to hope that I, I do. <laughs> um, I gotta focus up for a second here. Cool. Hold up, easy, easy, easy. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're fine. It's actually working. Oh! <laughs> I so nearly threw that a couple times. We're okay. And we got a, a big heal. Perfect. Um, and then we go down. That was very close. My apologies. <laughs> um, okay, we can do this, I guess. See if we can't bag a little bit more HP. Um, okay, so we can talk again now. Um, oh my god. Um, so... I was, yeah, a little bit tipsy, and I got on the train, and I was kind of, I was walking along, and the first carriage that was sort of in, in sight was the, the first class carriage, and I did not have a first class ticket. I'm bougie enough to get on the train, I'm not bougie enough to get on the train first class, but I saw that the carriage was empty, and it was very late, and I couldn't remember, on the way in, they checked my ticket, right? And they always check my ticket. But I couldn't remember if in the past when I'd gotten the train this late, if they were checking tickets. Because 
Like, let's be real. It's really late. Like, who cares? Honestly. So I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna be a little cheeky, man. I'm gonna do some Mission Impossible shit. I'm gonna try and ride first class, man. And so... I, um, I'd never really done that before. I don't think so, anyway. I've, I've never really tried to ride first class on something. So I was like, I'm just gonna send it. So I, I got on, and I sat down. I was the only guy in first class. Um, and so I was like, you know, when you're the only guy in first class, who gives a shit? You know, surely he's just gonna be like, alright, wow. Well, I'll just leave him to it. He's in first class. He's clearly like an upstanding member of society who doesn't want to be bothered by me, a ticket officer on this train. So uh, that was my plan, was that I would seem, you know, at home enough in first class that he would recognize me as one of society's elites that he shouldn't be bothering. Um, this, however, did not happen. Uh, <laughs> the train had been traveling for, like, at best two minutes... Um, and then, you know, he came in and was like, hey, can I see your ticket? And I showed it to him, and he gave it a little scan, and it booped. And he was like, and do you have a pass for, do you have a pass for first class? And I was like, uh, oh, I, I was, it was pretty quick thinking from me. And this was like, I hadn't planned what I was going to say if he told me I couldn't stay there. But I, I was pretty smooth about it. I was like, because I'm, I'm not the kind of person who can kick up a stink about that kind of thing, man. Like, I come from a family of people who I think would be quite happy to be like, but there's no one here. What's the problem? Just let us be in first class if it's empty. I'm not like that. I can't do that. So when he was like, um, when he was like, do you have a pass for first class? I just went, I'm in first class? And he went, yeah. And I was like, oh my god, my bad. I did not realize. I just kind of climbed on. I'm out of here. And he's like, yes, uh, if you want to just go through those doors. And I was like, those doors there? Pointed to the only doors on the cabin. I just wanted to look enough like an idiot that he'd believe that I just walked onto first class without realizing. I'm hoping it worked. Um, oh, I could have blown up the thing with that. Um, so, anyway. I've, my mission failed and I got put back in uh, with the other poor people. I, I I did find it very fun, though. It was a little adventure that I had for myself. I had the Mission Impossible theme playing in my head the entire time, as I, like, sat there doing absolutely nothing. Um, I think it's a better investment to keep our HP and just try and do this with literally base damage. This is a nightmare, man. Our build is, like, so mediocre. Oh! I don't have to focus up or anything for this. I'm just like, I'm, again, I'm sleepy. Um, but, uh... Like, the thing is, right? He Even he said, while I was there, he was like, you could buy a pass for first class if you want to. And I was like, no, nah, I didn't mean to come in here. I'm out of here. And he was like, it's honestly just... The seats are like a little bit bigger or nicer or something. I don't remember exactly what he said. But like... Especially if you're gonna acknowledge and be self-aware of the fact that first class isn't that much better. And there's no one here. Just let me stay in there. Kind of a job's worth if you think about it. Like, who cares? He should... Listen, if that were me, I kid you not. Like, when the last time I had a job uh, that was, like, kind of crummy... Not that I'm saying that being a ticket officer on a train is crummy. This is just like, the last time I was a job's worth was when my job was kind of crummy. Because I was like frustrated enough um, with my life that I was kind of taking it out on customers. Which isn't necessarily what this guy's doing. Again, I'm just talking about the last time I was a job's worth and what it took for me to be one. Um, but, uh, you know, I... It, that was what it was, right? My, my life was crummy enough that I, uh, I wanted to take it out on customers. Which is maybe what he's doing, I don't know. 
I don't know how he feels about his job. He seemed to be pretty chipper about it all. Um, but, uh, I feel like if I were in his position, that's, like, it's such an easy one to get away with, you know? Like, when you're, when you're working retail, which is what I was doing when I was a job's worth, and you're the only guy who works there, like I was at the time, um, it's quite easy to, like, catch, you know? But, but you're on a train, and, like, people are moving around, they can slip through the cracks, maybe there's another inspector around, I don't know. Like, on the late shift, probably not, but yeah, there's a lot of people on that train, overall. I feel like it's not unreasonable for you to just, like, miss something like that. You know? Or to, like, you know, be like, oh, I thought he showed me his... I thought he showed me his pass. My bad. And, like, just kind of... I didn't, you know, have me not show you the pass and just kind of be like, yeah, you can stay. Don't acknowledge it. Don't say anything to me. Just don't question it. Feign ignorance. Plausible, plausible deniability is the word I'm looking for. We actually made it. <laughs> this was, like, such a dog shit run. But we made it nonetheless. It was 26 minutes, too. This is, like, a completely reasonable length of episode to, to not do a second run. Um, Alright, well, we'll be back later with... Oh, fuck! Let me out! Let me out, let me out, let me out. This is a completely reasonable run to, to not um, do a second episode. Anyway, I'll be back later with When Life Gives You Lemons. Uh, I hope you had a good time. I sure did. I'll catch you later. Bye!